Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Why don't you go in peace? Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his arse. A smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about why toy fitting my boot up your hook? No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bury some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Oh! 
Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Here, stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right there. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man. <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? 
This should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey! Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. On. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good for you. Give this a quick dose as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up. After you, so. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. I got the right hand. 
The little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke.
What you reading, Dutch? Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. Tell him about Evelyn Miller, Arthur. Mostly goes over my head, Dutch. And Mike is even dumber than me. <laughs> Real funny, Arthur. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know. I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're, you're, well, you're amazing. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. Christ alive! Okay. Follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And, uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. All right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters so we do this right. Cut up through the creek. spot we first picked out for a camp. The dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. Thank you. 
Okay. Here we are. Whoa! All right. So the stage should be coming from over there. What do you want me to do? Just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on. Don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man? What does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me! What's the plan? There's been a change of plan! Yes! You act dumb and get them to stop. Chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watched. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. Can I help you? Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. Yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Down, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruin this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. 
We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. Despacio. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. 
Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Oh, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race. Uh huh? Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. We need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Easy, easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. OK. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. OK. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I can't stop these men! Stop! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Come here. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Come on now. you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. 
John. Arthur. Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. smell and speak some sense to him. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... I'll think about it. Thank you. Here, I'll do whatever you say. Always. What are you trying to pull here? Nothing. I'm trying to help. Right you are. Don't you tell him a thing about that money. I ain't a fool, Arthur. I know. I just don't trust him. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. It's good to be warm. Sure. So what do you think, Arthur, of Dutch's latest plan? You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah. I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. It's time to start thinking, Arthur, before it's too late. Hey, come here, kid. What? What? Don't you disrespect me, boy. I did it. Damn, Bill. You know, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> well, okay then. Ah! <clears throat> Damn right it's okay. <laughs> Get lost, Bill. Oh, half shit. What the hell is that? The kid's got no respect. It's you lacking respect, as far as I can see. You okay, Lenny? I'm fine. Just ignore that son of a bitch. Business. Well, I hope so. I hope she doesn't make it all our business. 
She's got a temper on her, Dutch. She is not the only one of us with a temper, Miss Grimshaw. Well, I don't like it. Not now. It's like I always say. There's two theories when it comes to arguing with young women, and neither of them work. Oh, I've heard you say that nonsense before, and it did not impress then any more than it does now. <sighs> now I'm supposed to care about feelings, Arthur. Hmm. Molly really don't seem to be doing too well, Dutch. She'll be fine. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here. Famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Huh. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Epa! Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Yeah! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Hold. Hey, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on. Let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way.
can fish. Well done. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. Another one. We're lucky. We got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my here. Crickets. Thanks. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. Make sure he's tired before you reel in. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big though. Let me get out of your way. You got this one. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You want to join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? Nah, yeah, I'll stay. No problem. I'll see you back there.
take more than a large reptile to consume you. They creep <laughs> up on you, you know. Oh, 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 Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> The ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the oh, west there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Feed! It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! Closer now. Closer. We caught him! In the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. If we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you? Run in there and coax him out. Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might... It might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. I don't like this. Oh, he's awake! Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. A little closer, please. Excellent. Beast in repose, all as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. 
Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Ah, yes. Docker here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. I guess. For now. Ah, That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. Though he never stopped wandering. Arthur! A dog! A dog! Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. 
Nothing a serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'd be getting rich, not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. Hardy, right, follow me. Passing you. Bet. Like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you had to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry-looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I've brought you both in on. All right, just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Beth? She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay, you're the boss. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them like, and then we'll move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. myself all spun around out here. My horse ran off and, well, I don't know where I am. 
You must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can make That'll an exception. Be a good time. <laughs> Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten. They seem threatened to me. <laughs> Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm gonna bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I'll lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Told you. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go. We don't have time to hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later. All right. Hey, Arthur, C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> you are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. Yeah! How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, oh. will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. 
There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is 
this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Get in hell, boys! We're in a situation here! Behind you! Behind you, Charles! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. We got more of the pastors on this side. This fella really doesn't like getting robbed. Let's just hope we don't... Run out of bullets.
Sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go give them a hand. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jones. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. She died. I mourn her, but I did not bury her. My sister got married. She moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? Huh? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people. For that, I have been chased and hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. Oh, Arthur. Hello. Hello, Arthur. Reverend. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. Guess things are the same everywhere. Yeah. The older I get, the more I find that to be true. Kind of depressing. There he is. Hello, Arthur. Everything okay? Of course. Just checking. Okay. Micah? Darren. It stinks a coward right around here. Oh, shut up. Hey, Strauss. Hey, Morgan. So, Uncle? Don't say it. I know I messed up. Just do more groundwork next time. God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. 
I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Time to go, boy. Yeah. Slow it up. Look here. Gotcha. Easy! What they done to you? him our zebra <laughs> well you can't call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception the lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please... I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Strappy? Where are you? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. 
It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like... Black blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. X dog, X line. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <laughs> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. And all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How do you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. 
It's my modest hope. One day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. road around here when the dust was up be careful or you might get wrecked too okay you know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out mr margaret's a lot of things but best female navigator ain't one of them uh, i imagine you're right about that we was tearing around here looking for any kind of landmark when over we go whole caravan toppled found each other and some shelter but when the wind died down the animals was gone but now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is. The caravan. Good miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Mark. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her doing. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. <sighs> Hold it tight! We caught him trapped here! Come oh, on! Oh, oh. I should go and get my repeater. I am holding it. Hold yours. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, boy. 
Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. <laughs> oh, geez, just for turns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. I have no favor, master. You can't assign my what you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. 
The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Dear Mr. Compson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, 
we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Ah, a trap door, huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh god damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Oh. Come on! Son of a bitch! <laughs> the ledger now. Pa. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rants. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap, huh? things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. <laughs> ah! God. Damn you! Damn you! 
I still exist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a fun job. We made a little bit of money. Nobody got hurt, and we just had ourselves a fun time. <laughs> Let me tell you something, kid. You want a job done well, you take this fella along. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Mr. Escuela, do you right. I mean, he'll frighten all the birds out of the trees. <laughs> Look, things are all gentle and calm now. But in the moment, I've seen grown men piss themselves. I am talking a puddle of piss, all because of the way he looked at him. And this was one of them. This big, tough bastard just gives us look. You know, one of those I'm about to explode Hello moments. There. I thought we'd be counting corpses in minutes. Only Javier here, get this, Javier just gives one look. And the bastard turns to jelly. Well, next time then, you boys bring me. Yeah, I want to live. One hot head is enough. Excuse me. Literally. A puddle of piss. I just want to see it the once. That's all it takes. For years, never earned a legal dollar. Have a seat by the Saw fire. Unspeakable Arthur. evil and remarkable kindness, usually from the same folks. Raised and lost a family. Saw pretty much the whole country, from Madison Avenue to San Francisco. Did bad, did good. Guess I ain't unlucky at all. Guess I'm real lucky. This, this is what you're offered. <sighs> Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then, let's go rob some fools. It's this way. On me.
You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me.
Get down and come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. Down by the road, we'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? All right, some tents. Got a Gatlin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. You got men covering the house. You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. Hey, you might want to look over to the right. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my That's people. That's it. Praise be. Now, uh, are you? <laughs> Have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darky. I said, a miracle shall strike you down. <laughs> They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's just be wet, okay? Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. 
We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Fall in. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. Hey! I'm talking to you, boy. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. I don't like it. Ah! Oh, let's go. They might be on to us. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... That's not but nothing. Now, me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. Hey, 
Morning. Oh, hi. John behaving himself? I suppose. Hey, Arthur! What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. This big can't go wrong plan of yours? Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Lita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey! I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. You got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. 
what little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work at town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, we rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Keep it down now. We're here. Heard the bar brawl in Smithfield? Why you vexing me, eh? Stranger. So it goes. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Whoa! All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Okay. Yeah. Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. Now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, Have you seen him? I, I really think you 
Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gone real dead. You don't know me. All oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn uh, hands go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh! Oh, you think we're here to fight? No. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Open the goddamn ball! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Too goddamn oh. slow! How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Don't make me hurt you. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh... better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still! As I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. Chickens just yet. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, I'm going there. We're getting there. A few more minutes. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Oh. 
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing were something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Mr. Mason! Oh! Oh! Mr. Morgan! You wanna be careful up here? Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know... I really did get some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck.
You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Good luck, sir. Although, as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photographs. What are you going to do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Sure will. If, uh... If I can. Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Boy, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. How about this, then? I guarantee you paint. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If i got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, OK? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa, shot all kinds of cats, never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. This is it. 
her den. We should leave the horses. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. What? That'll be rare. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's 
probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Ah, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Yep. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had... Pinkerton's coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there, head on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Uh, maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation, man created equal. Liberty and justice for all? That might be nonsense, too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Alright, cowpoke. 
You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Whoa! Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? got a sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole yeah. lot of them. With this <clears throat> fella Colum's right, we can draw them. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax, relax, I got him. I got him. <clears throat> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> not yet, <clears throat> but I will. <clears throat> Weapons over there! Oh, no. 
It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Colm. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hang you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef.
My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> that's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board and their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Good. You might as well give up. You just 
the best you fools got? Oh, he's gonna get it good! Counter in the gun! I'll get the front! You take the back! None of these bastards gonna walk out of here! You're getting sloppy, Morgan. You see that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about sloppy. Better in here, not there. You sure about that? <laughs> Thinking the Greys might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for loot, whoop! Damn loot! We ain't getting out of this with nothing! And that's assuming we even get out of it! Of course we're getting out of it! This is you and me, Morgan! We always get the job done! You call this getting the job done? See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Gray's I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out! Shit! Aw, oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Here's a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Micah! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Take a deep breath, okay? Arthur, have you seen that boy? Jack? No. Oh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think 
The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son! I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now! Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Now, Jack. You should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Arthur, are you coming or what? We don't have all day. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let it fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Red trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this, See you. 
you, watch out here for any other arrivals! There! Find Jack! And find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! Jack! You in here? Jack, can you hear me? Jack? Oh, shit! in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dump to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We sent them in where Jack. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? 
my sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go! Arthur, come <laughs> on! What are we doing with her? <laughs> Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but, well, of course Marston scared rotten, eh? We killed all those people, we stirred up all that trouble, <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. 
We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, off. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. You're rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. All right, should be just down this path to the left here. Now, I was saying, probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Easy. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here.
Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpetbaggers. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <clears throat> Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide the myth. All right. See you soon. I hope. Alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Bart, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Can I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on. And she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? A 
about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. She sails to the westward, where stormy winds blow. Goodbye, farewell, goodbye, farewell. Bound away in the dreadnought, to the westward we'll go. Hurrah, me boys, we're bound to go.